All right, what's going on, everybody? Appreciate the love. Look, I want to talk to you guys about another reality that comes with law enforcement, the career itself. Um, you know, my last video, I talked to you guys about the badge bunny, the dangers, and just what I went through when not being like me, making the same mistakes. And this is kind of like the same type of video. Um, you know, I get those Facebook memories from years ago and I saw a picture. I see, but I got a bunch of pictures and videos and shit, but it was just another video that I saw of myself. It was like probably like a year, a little less than a year since um, from when I resigned. You know, I'm still working in my driving job six days a week, like nonstop driving. And you know, I was really fucked up, man. I was lost. Like I'm, I look, I looked at the video, and it really, I just got emotional. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I got emotional looking at it, and it was three years ago, and it just really brought me back to kind of like, be careful with the decisions that you make in your career, and who you're around in your career and things like that. But also, have a backup plan. You know, I got into law enforcement like 25, 26. Pre before that, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't. I was kind of like, well, I knew, you know, I was in school to get into probation, but it was it took it took me a minute to kind of get me to that point. You know, I graduated at 17, 18. From that point or so, I have a backup plan because when I was working, class two, obviously, you know, things was good. Money was good, you know, I got my car, I got a new uh, apartment, I got my dog, money was good. I was still able to work um, part-time, the driving job. So I had two incomes coming in, and back then, you know, you could make things work. I know right now, rent and fucking inflation is crazy, but back then, I was straight. That's why I said, like, I got an apartment, I got a car, but I was not prepared to lose all of it, you know? couple months after I got my apartment and car or my car not both of them yeah I got them in the same year a couple months after that in October I had to resign so I had just added a brand new car payment I got rent now I got to pay insurance this is a whole bunch of things that I truly was not financially prepared for and I went to my driving job um like I said like six days a week non-stop driving from three in the morning three in the afternoon hundreds of miles a day i was just trying to focus and it felt like i wasn't getting anywhere whether it was professionally or financially i felt like i was still stuck in this hamster wheel and I, I was still just kind of lost with everything because i had put everything into law enforcement everything i had put and that's that's why i say like don't get that ego don't get don't get don't get it fucked up. <laughs> don't think that you they can't get rid of you. Don't think that you're not replaceable. Don't think that just because you're in there, you're gonna be in there forever. It's not the case. No, it's really not the case. And I'm a prime example of it. And you gotta be ready. You know, you gotta be ready. Even if you you're a great police officer, you're a great person, you don't get in trouble, have a backup plan. Go get your little side hustles, get a side business going. You know, I know people who got little power power washing companies. My man, he got his own um, garage. Like, he's a mechanic. He's killing it. Have something that you're passionate about that when you go home, you're not thinking about police shit. You're not thinking about that. You could, and, you know, you could kind of have that outlet. Have friends that are outside of law enforcement. You know, one thing that's difficult for me has been, and I, I don't just... I don't just put it on law enforcement. I just look at it like like we grown and everybody got shit that's going on right now. But it's hard making friends. <laughs> you know, it's hard to meet people at this age, 31. And, you know, and it's kind of like, what are, we, what are we really talking about? If you got family and kids, I don't. I'm trying to get my shit going. Like, you know, it's hard to really find people to kind of grow with and build with and things like that. So... You know, I still got people in law enforcement that I'm friends with, but a lot of them, they was co-workers. Like, that's how it is. Like, you don't really keep that relationship. You don't really keep that bond, that blue lives bond or whatever. So, 
but again this is more than just law enforcement this is whatever you're doing like you should find find friends find people outside of your work out of your career out of it just you could get something out of it you know it'll make you think about other things and god forbid do get in a situation whether with the badge bunny maybe with your husband with your wife maybe you get hurt on the job maybe you get shot maybe you get anything happens where you have to leave your job that career and you probably won't get another opportunity in another department it's going to be very difficult it's going to be very difficult to adjust to get back into like regular life and things like that but it's possible like but my whole thing is with these videos like i said man i'm telling you guys what i went through I literally went through that shit. I literally put all my baskets into law enforcement, thinking nothing's going to happen. They're not going to get rid of me. I'm not going to leave. And everything, all whatever dreams I had in law enforcement, because I did apply. You know, I kept trying to get into it, but whatever dreams, whatever, that shit is gone. That shit is none. And this is just another chapter. But don't want it to be you. Just like I said with the last video, learn from my mistakes. Think outside the box. Find something that you could work on. And just have a little hustle going, man. So, that'd be good. Show love to the channel. Shout out to the new subscribers, new viewers. See y'all in the next one, man. Peace.